Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 668. The category is Stephen King. This will be 20 questions about the books, the books that have been made into movies, and the author, with a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end. This is getting us started on the spooky season. Tomorrow's Hocus Pocus. The next day is Monsters from Movies. So good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. His first published novel, released on April 5th, 1974, with the first print run of 30,000 copies. What was the title of the Stephen King book about a friendless, bullied high school girl with newly discovered telekinetic powers? The answer is Carrie. Question number two. Published in 1979, what Stephen King story follows Johnny Smith, who awakens from a coma of nearly five years and, apparently as a result of brain damage, now experiences clairvoyant and precognitive visions triggered by touch? The answer is The Dead Zone. Question number three. What 1981 psychological horror novel by Stephen King was made into a film in 1983 and featured a friendly Saint Bernard that becomes murderous after contracting rabies from a bat bite? The answer is Cujo. Question number four. Wrote in 1983 and made into two different movie adaptations, and the only one with a misspelled word in the title, which one of Stephen King's novels does he say is the one that genuinely scared him the most? The novel with the misspelled word is Pet Cemetery. Question number five. Early in Stephen King's career, he was writing so many novels that his publisher didn't want to dilute the King brand. So he also published novels like Rage, Roadwork, and The Running Man using what pen name? The other name Stephen King publishes under is Richard Bachman. Question number six. In the 1986 horror novel It by Stephen King, the story follows the experiences of seven children as they are terrorized by an evil entity that primarily appears in the form of a dancing clown named what? The clown's name is Pennywise. Question number seven. What is the title of the 1980 Stephen King novel where telekinetic Andy is on the run with his pyrokinetic daughter, Charlie, from a government agency known as The Shop? The answer is Firestarter. Question number eight. What was the name of the 1958 Plymouth Fury, also the title of the book, that was apparently possessed by a malevolent supernatural force in the 1983 horror novel by Stephen King? The car and the novel were both called Christine. Question number nine. 
referred to on King's website as his magnum opus. What is the title of the series of eight books and one short story that features the protagonist Roland Deschain, the last living member of a knightly order known as Gunslingers? The answer is The Dark Tower. Question number 10. In what 1975 horror story by Stephen King, his second published novel, does a writer named Ben Mears return to his hometown only to discover that the residents are becoming vampires? The answer is Salem's Lot. Question number 11. At 11.44 a.m. on October 21st of 2017, the small town of Chester's Mill is abruptly and gruesomely separated from the outside world by an invisible, semi-permeable barrier of unknown origin in what 2009 novel? That novel is Under the Dome. Question number 12. Stephen King acknowledged that the quality of his writing suffered during his period of drug use, saying that which one of his novels featuring a long-buried alien spacecraft is an awful book and that it was the last one he wrote before he cleaned up his act. He was referring to the Tommyknockers. Question number 13. A post-apocalyptic dark fantasy novel created in the epic spirit of The Lord of the Rings, but set in contemporary America, the complete and uncut version of which one of Stephen King's novels is the longest at 1152 pages? The answer is The Stand. Question 14. Published in 2013 by Hard Case Crime, what novel by Stephen King follows the story of Devin Jones, who takes a summer job at the titular haunted theme park in North Carolina? The answer is Joyland. Question 15. Mr. Mercedes, Finders Keepers, and End of Watch are novels released in 2014, 2015, and 2016 by Stephen King and are referred to by the name of the main character. What is this trilogy known as? These books are known as the Bill Hodges Trilogy. Question 16. What 1987 Stephen King novel shares a title with the main character of a book that the main character of this book, Paul Sheldon, is writing about when he wrecks his car and is taken in by a former nurse who turns out to be a serial killer? The answer is Misery. Question 17. A deviation from the norm for King, who was best known for his horror fiction, what 1984 book is a work of epic fantasy in a quasi-medieval setting with a clearly established battle between good and evil and magic playing a lead role? That novel was called The Eyes of the Dragon. Question 18. 
Stephen King's 1977 novel, The Shining, centers on the life of Jack Torrance, a struggling writer and recovering alcoholic who accepts a position as the off-season caretaker of what hotel in the Colorado Rockies? The hotel is called the Overlook Hotel. Question 19. The best-selling novel in the U.S. in 1992, what Stephen King book features an opinionated 65-year-old widow as the title character living in the tiny community of Little Tall Island who is suspected of murdering her wealthy elderly employer, Vera Donovan? The title character is Dolores Claiborne. And question 20. Stephen King's 1996 novel is set in the Cold Mountain Penitentiary Death Row, nicknamed The Green Mile for the color of the floor's linoleum. What is the name of the new 6-foot, 8-inch prisoner accused of murder who possesses inexplicable healing abilities? His name is John Coffey like the drink, only spelled different. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this kicks off kind of our spooky trivia. We've got Stephen King today, Hocus Pocus, the movie tomorrow, and then we're doing Monsters from TV, film, and literature on October 31st. So that'll be 21 questions about all the different spooks and specters from television, film, and literature throughout the last couple hundred years. So if you enjoy this type of spooky trivia, stick around. We've got three good ones coming up this season before we jump into November birthdays, and then it happened in November. That will be, I think, and then we do Lord of the Rings, and then we get into alphabet trivia, which will be going on the majority of the month of November. So stick around if you're ready for any of that. Here's question 21 for today, the tiebreaker. Either set in or referenced in more than 30 novels and short stories by Stephen King, the fictional town of Castle Rock was set in what real U.S. state? The same state Stephen King was born in. Castle Rock was set in, and Stephen King was born in the state of Maine. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.